and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some DIY Lush products, bath jellies, and Lush Fun, which is the moldable kind of soap. And this video is actually a collab with my friend here on YouTube. Her name is Tara. Her channel name is Tara Michelle, so you guys should definitely check out her video because she is doing a DIY Lush video as well. And I will link her video right here, so you can go click on it to go to her channel and see her video. I will also leave the link down below so you can go check it out after you watch this video. Also, I have a giveaway going on for an iPad Mini 3 and also a collab away where you get to do a collab video with me, so I will leave the link to that video down below as well. And if at any time you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below so I can reply to you. If you're new here, if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe down there. And also, I will be going to BeautyCon LA, which is July 11th, which is coming up really soon. So if you are going to be there, let me know in the comment section because I would love to meet you. So if you see me, don't be afraid to come up to me and say hi. But without further ado, let's get started with this video. So for materials, you're going to need some unflavored gelatin. And then you also need some food coloring of your choice. Mine is just neon because I think it looks better. And then you're going to need some body wash or shampoo. So the first thing I did was I took a packet of the gelatin and just poured it into a pot. Then I just poured in three quarters of a cup of boiling hot water and stirred that up until there were no more lumps. Then I put in half a teaspoon of salt and mixed that together. Then I added half a cup of soap and just stirred that together. And lastly, I just added some food coloring, but that is optional. And if you want yours to be kind of moisturizing, just add in a few drops of oil. Then I just poured it into my mold, and this is actually an ice cube mold, but if you don't have a mold, you can just pour it into one of these cups. Then you just want to refrigerate these for about 4 hours, but I left these overnight just to make sure. And these will last for about 2 weeks in your refrigerator. So once they are solidified, I just took them out of their little molds, and this is what it turned out like. I think it looks super cute, and especially with the flower design, you could even give these as gifts and same with the cup one I just pulled out the sides and it just plopped out I think these turned out super cool because they actually look like the ones from Lush and you can make different shapes and colors and it's just really fun to play with and of course it is much cheaper than the one from Lush Die for each other. We're cool for the summer. <laughs> So for these moldable soap bars, you're going to need some cornstarch and also some body wash or shampoo. And then lastly, you'll need some food coloring, but this is optional. So the first step is to take one cup of cornstarch and put it in your bowl and take half a cup of your body wash and pour that in. Then just mix that together. And if you want a nice scent, just choose a body wash or something that has a good scent that you like. Then it should have this kind of consistency and I'm just gonna split that into a half because I want mine to be different colors. So with the leftover half, I'm going to put in a few drops of blue food coloring. And for the next one, I just added some pink food coloring to make it pink. This is what they turned out like and they're super fun to play with. They're really moldable so you can make different shapes. Here I made a flower and when you are done using it, you do have to wrap it up with some saran wrap or put it in an airtight container because it will dry out if you just leave it out in the open. And it lathers really well too, so if you use this in the shower, it'll make it all soapy. But keep in mind, this is more of a fun product than actual like cleaning one. But yeah, as you can see, it was really easy to do and it turned out pretty cool. So that is about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave me a comment down below. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe down there. And that is about it. I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>